Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and on this channel we do all things clean beauty. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video if you enjoy it. And today we are doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Revlon Power Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler uh, One Step hair drying tool that has like the brush attached. So I have it here plugged into the wall. I feel like this is much bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it gets fantastic reviews and I've always been pretty good with like a hair dryer and a round brush, but I thought if this is faster, I'm all about that. So my hair is like, I would say like 80% dry right now. I just washed it. So we're gonna go ahead and style with this and I'll try and give like some in between the looks at how things are going. But because of the noise, I'm gonna speed it up and kind of uh, obviously like turn off the sound for this part, maybe play some music. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet, so let's do this. I always take up part of it. I have a ton of hair. Like I have very thick hair. The pieces of my hair are fine, but I have a lot of it. So here we go. So we have these two pieces down here. I am going to start with this section. Wish me luck. Kind of nervous. So, so far, this is fantastic. Like my hair feels so, so soft right now. I do have a little bit of product. I actually, let me show you what I put in. I just wanna show you guys what I'm using still. I did a hair care video a few months ago, I believe, or a video where I talked about my hair care routine, but this is the Briogeo, um, reparative leave-in conditioning spray and it's got a heat protectant. When I was reading reviews on this styler and all the other stylers, there's quite a few of them out there now. This isn't the only one on the market anymore, but it still had the most reviews and the best reviews that I could see. So I decided to just go with Revlon. It's the cheapest as well. So that's always a good thing. Um, and then I use the John Masters uh, Nourishing Defrizzer Oil. I use very little of this. My hair is long now. I do about three drops just in the ends. Um, but if you go overboard with this, your hair will look oily. So you got to be careful, but it is a really nice product. I thought while we're at it, I should just show you the shampoo that I'm using too. I don't use conditioner in my hair in the shower because it makes my skin break out. Um, they're usually too rich, but this is the Pacifica Coconut Power Strong and Long Moisturizing Shampoo. Guys, this is so good and it smells so amazing. If you are looking for a clean beauty shampoo that's so similar to like regular uh, mainstream shampoos, I would try Pacifica. It's so, so good. I'm loving it. The smell is literally, oh, it's so good. It smells like vanilla and coconut. It's like amazing. I'm hot. So keep that in mind if you are in the summer and you don't have like air conditioning or anything, this is literally like my 
blow drying your hair for as long as it takes. So yeah, keep that in mind. I have air conditioning and I'm still hot, so. I did close my bathroom door though, which is not letting the heat escape because the kids are playing and I thought it would be a little quieter for everyone while I'm talking, but. My arms are a little tired, but that's to be expected. I have not been styling my hair in like a year because I haven't been going out. So my arms are feeling it, but that's okay. Like just a little burn for a really nice blowout is worth it for sure. So, so far, this is awesome. I'm really liking it. I finish doing this and then I'm really gonna show you how I do the front of my hair because I'm hoping I can get um, a little bit of volume. My hair is so long right now, as I said, but it really doesn't have any definition or layers in it, and I need to go get it done. I have some split ends that I need trimmed, and I just wanna touch up like and get a little bit of layering in, because that always looks nice, and you can get more volume when you have some layers. So I'm gonna go get a haircut soon, but for now, this is, just awesome. I am so impressed right now. <sighs> okay, I am done and I am sweaty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I ended up opening my door because I was like, I can't, I can't take it anymore. Um, I am very hot. So this guy gets really hot. I actually burnt my finger on my hair at one point. So yeah, it, it's quite hot, but I am so impressed with oh, toddlers. He just fell into the, into the thing. Okay, I'm back. My toddler ran in and literally like face planted against my shower door. So I had to deal with that. But yeah, overall, super impressed with this. The only thing I can say is, well, other than the heat, but I mean, that's that's normal when you're, you're using even a blow dryer. So I would be feeling just as hot and sweaty if I was doing it with a brush. Um, the temperature is down here. So there's a, uh, there's off, cool, low, high. Um, now, I just find it a little tricky, like turning it on down here. I kind of wish there was like your buttons here or something so you can kind of turn it on and then work because I just find it a little tricky when I'm like wait, holding my hair here to go and then I have to go down here to do it. It's just, Maybe I'm like doing it kind of wrong, but that's just the way I'm used to styling my hair. So yeah, um, overall, I think this is pretty fantastic. This part here doesn't get hot, like it gets warm, but it doesn't get hot. So you can touch this to really like work it through the hair. But my actual hair was very hot. It was my hair that I burnt my finger on because I grabbed it too firmly, so. Yeah, um, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Okay, we just had another accident, so I feel bad this video is very interrupted, but this is what my life is just like. I can't ever do anything uninterrupted a million times, so it is what it is. But yeah, if you guys have questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I definitely recommend this product. I think it makes 
blow drying your hair, like styling it uh, so much faster than using a hair dryer and a brush. And I'm pretty quick with that. So um, yeah, definitely highly recommend. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.